Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and today's figure showcase is truly one of a kind as we take a look at my RVD collection. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. Welcome back, and this is a showcase I've been really, really excited for. Um, the more I have been adding to this collection, just the more excited, because who doesn't want more RVD figures? And I have a bunch that I'm going to show you show off today, and really, I have plenty more that I want to make. Um, one I don't have is from WrestleMania 22, I think it was, when he won Money in the Bank, um, in his all, like, red dragon attire. Spam wrestling, every time, I think every time I talk to him about a different RVD figure, he's like, okay, now when are you going to do uh, WrestleMania 22? So, that is on the list, it's coming, just haven't gotten around to it, but first off, my ECW RVD, and I'm... All these have the same formula, except one. One is a little bit different from before I had an RVD, so everything else is just an RVD with paint and decals. Um, so I don't, I'm not going to spend a lot of time, I'm going to show them all, and then really I just want to get them all together, because all together, this is probably one of the coolest collections in total that I have. So ECW RVD, we've got the TV title on him, and then this is from the Heat Wave pay-per-view in like 97 or 98, I... I forget the year exactly, but this is from Heat Wave, an all-white attire, but one that I always think of when I think of RVD. Next up is actually another ECW RVD, and this is one I wanted to do because he um, doesn't, I don't have a lot of green attires of him, and um, I thought that this would be a cool one to do, so you can kind of tell it's a dragon design. Sometimes that, that, like, there's just so much going on that it's kind of hard to tell, but this is from Living Dangerously in 1999, I believe it was, when he fought Jerry Lynn, and, um, you see that dragon on the front, you know, your typical Van Damme peace signs on the back, but I did use a, I did put a jack scan on this one, like his angrier scan, just to kind of change things up a little bit, but, again, same thing, RVD, palette swapped, different attire, there we go, let's move on. Next up are a couple official releases of RVD, and the Elite 27 RVD here on the left is the first RVD we got in the Mattel line, and, you know, uh, it's a fine figure, but I think a lot of people were disappointed we didn't get, like, a Ruthless Aggression, like a throwback RVD. Um, especially now, like, since they can do head swaps, I think that, um, like, giving us an older scan or, like, just a little bit different scan, they keep using the same exact one, um... It'd be nice to get something a little different, but the Ruthless Aggression figure we got on the right here is just the most recent one. Um, this is another, like, I love all of them, so I could say the exact same thing. Like, there's not really an attire I don't like of RVD, and, again, these are ones that I just, I think they look great. My only real problem with the RVD figures is that they don't do ball-jointed hips, which RVD is, like, no, like, the RVD, like, stretch or whatever. It's him doing the splits at like a full 180 degrees and we don't have that we, like we don't have that capability with action figures which is a little frustrating I mean it is what it is you can see here on the back just show them off like there's so much to his attires that it's just really cool but a couple more we still have a few more don't want to waste too much time Next up here, we got the tiger, um, the tiger stripe design, which is um, one of the more iconic outfits or more iconic singlets that RVD has. He he's worn it a few times, like a few diff like minor different um, iterations. Then again, um, the Rising Sun singlet. Obviously, we know the controversy that we had with that. Um, we were supposed to get it, we didn't um, because Mattel kind of overlooked some of the undertones that, or, I don't know if undertones, or some of the implications that have come with that Rising Sun design, so we didn't get the official release, some people have it in their collection, um, you can't, like, it's, it's out there, there were some that got out, but, um, I had the decals, or 3XR Studio has the decals in his library, and I had an extra RVD, and I was like, what the heck, let's put, let's throw it together, um, 
throw it in my collection. Not gonna sell it or anything. So I figured, what? Why not? Why not just put it on my shelf? So still in a singlet that a lot of people wanted. Like just with RVD, it is um, another one that he wore like in uh, in multiple different eras of his career. So one that is more iconic, but at the same time, like there's so many RVD attires that um, you're we're not gonna get them all anyway. So. Plenty of different avenues they could have taken, and you'll see my last couple I have here are um, some perfectly fine options that they could have gone with, but it is what it is. So, this RVD de deserves his own screen by himself. This is this is my favorite RVD custom, uh, favorite RVD figure I have, and it is of um, his singlet when he won the WWE Championship from John Cena at ECW One Night Stand. One of the coolest pay-per-views and like one of the most organic like hot crowds that WWE's had um, that like that pay-per-view that first one I think it was the first one I don't even remember maybe it was the second one that RVD won the belt but it was nuts um, it was so cool having him win like on his home turf essentially and the he like he won the WWE title got the ECW title later um, and then, and then everyone knows the rest of the, of the story, but I got the Money in the Bank briefcase. It's just a decal that I got from Curb Stomp City, and you can just put it on, um, both sides here of the, of the briefcase, briefcase, RVD on one side, Mr. Money in the Bank on the other, and it came, like, I think the briefcase originally came with a Dolph Ziggler figure, but, um, I think this is much more well-deserved, much, much, um more useful this way in my collection, I'll just say. But then, WrestleMania 22 is the same design, except for the black is replaced with red, so um, I do want to, I'm going to do that one eventually. I don't think you can have one without the other. I need to have that red so I can pose the Money in the Bank briefcase with him. Um, briefcase? I'm messing up that word. Anyway, let's move on before I mess up briefcase one more time. One more RVD figure, and then we will have our group shot of everyone together. All right, so last RVD here is the for the only custom RVD I have that I have painted entirely. And this back when I, like but way before I even had my YouTube channel, I was kind of posting like kind of when the pandemic started, I started doing customs a little bit more and posting them on Instagram and this is one of the first ones I did that um like that I got like attention for for being pretty good. Um I'm pretty proud of this one. I um use uh, like I made up my own formula I gave him the ball jointed hips I gave him the tan torso um to go with this Jack's head and um it's based off one of the Jack's figures we had so we've got the green RVD we've got the tears in the back the like claws coming through um but obviously you know when you when you put that I put a lot of time and effort into this one I I, I really like this one and um Again, it's got that, like, Jack's nostalgia baked in as well, so it's not necessarily my favorite, but I do hold this one near and dear to my heart, and, um, yeah, that is the that is the last RVD of the collection, so we're going to get all these up here just so you can see them all together in their entirety. Just a cool visual to see all those RVDs, but hopefully Mattel keeps knocking out RVD attires, and um, I will keep doing the same. And there we go. There we have it. There are all of my RVDs. So um, not as many as some of the other collections I have, but these are, I mean, they're a lot more involved putting on the decals and everything than some of the other customs that I get around to. So um, I just don't knock out as many of these. And it's not as easy also to like, you have to get an RVD to make an RVD custom. I can't piece stuff together the way I do with other things. So um, hopefully I just like run across a bunch I can get in a sale. Maybe ringside will have a bunch of the elite RVDs, but you never know. I, I have a lot of customs that I want to make with RVD and he's a guy that's always, I mean, he's a big fan favorite, but always been a favorite of mine as well. So that's going to wrap everything up. If you want to go check out some more showcases, I have plenty, um, plenty where we have different teams, different, um, different wrestlers by themselves that I have just a bunch of different attires of. I mean, you name it. We're, we're knocking out everything that we can here on the channel, but like, share, subscribe, I always appreciate it. And lastly, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy figures. Figure Dude, out.
I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not